Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial of anti-gravity, an asset that helps you make your game objects float and defy gravity, all through physics simulations. Now, as you can see in this scene, I've got this white cube, which is static really, doesn't do anything, doesn't defy gravity, doesn't float, doesn't do anything. So let's fix this. I will start by adding component anti-gravity. So let's go through the properties first. The first one is obvious, use anti-gravity. It's whether you want the system to be enabled or not. Also, before continuing with the properties, as you can see, the, uh, the anti-gravity component automatically added a rigid body. So uh, you got that too. Now, if we press play, use anti-gravity, remember that this property is enabled. So that means it should work. If we press play, You'll find that the cube is technically floating, but it's not really going upwards. It's very limited, right? And the reason for this is because the max Y point is set to zero. While the position, the, the, the current position, the start position is actually in four. So we can fix this by setting this to something bigger, like 15, for example, right? And the minimum Y point uh, is set to automatically... Uh, automatically be set to the, the, the to the point of start. I'll set it to five. It's on start it's four, I'll set it to like five. So that means it goes to fifteen and then goes to five and so on and so forth. Now if I press play we can increase the anti-gravity strength. It falls down to five to the minimum Y point five and so on and so forth. Yeah? We can enable on maximum point stay that means it'll stay on the maximum y point we can change the rotation strength on all directions you see and it also works of course if we set the on maximum point stay to uh, false Right, uh, something else is the gravity strength. It, when it falls, the, the gravity strength is pretty, pretty prominent. So what we're going to do is add an opposite force to the fall. So that means it's going to be a lot more smoother. So for example, I've got the anti-gravity strength set to 15. I can set the opposite uh, force to be, I don't know, like 10 maybe? Now uh, 10 is too easy, you see? Now it's a lot slower because there's there's an opposite force. We can set it maybe to something like 5. Yeah, pretty good. If we set the start point is minimum Y to true, then you'll find on play, it automatically got set to whatever the cube was on start. Now the last thing we have is the anti-gravity direction. It's where really you or how and which direction you want the object to float. So I've set the y-axis on 1, the y-axis uh, to 1, so that means it goes upwards. But if I set like maybe x to 3, right, and give it... Oh, I've got vertical only. Yeah, you see, it was because I had vertical only enabled. So let's try this again. Give it. Uh, uh, let's try on the Z. And give it like a two or something, and disable vertical only. Yeah, there we go. You can change the direction on how it floats. Uh, most probably, you're going to use the Y axis only, but you know, you've got you've got all directions as well. Uh, and that's it really. Thank you for watching guys.